Back in Madisonville, Nancy checks to see if the raccoon that was hit by a car is showing any improvement. Oh, you little stinker! Where did you go? I go in to check on the raccoon today, and he has escaped his crate. Even with a lame paw, he slipped out, leaving the cover in place. It could be hiding anywhere. There is, like, so much junk in here. What I love about little raccoons is they are so smart and so nimble that they can figure out how to get out of certain cages. Where did you go? Hmm. He's in here somewhere. I just have to find him. There you are. Hi, baby. Hey. And he's wedged all in this corner right here, so it won't be too hard to get him out. You're feeling better, aren't you? Mm. You're ready to move out. I'm going to name this raccoon Houdini. Um, he escaped that crate so beautifully that you didn't even, the top was still on it. I don't think the wrist is broken because he's putting pressure on it right now. This shows that he was able to get out very easily, and it shows that he's getting better. Now, Nancy can rule out serious head trauma and start rehabilitating his injured paw. The next step for Houdini is to move to an outdoor enclosure and see if he's using that paw. It's still a little swollen. I want to make sure that he can climb and climb well without falling and just move around like a raccoon should be able to move around. Can't escape out of this one, so he's good. <laughs> 